Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Friday, September 8th. It's the 13th week after Pentecost, and week two in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 31, verse 1 to 8, and James chapter 4, verse 13, to chapter 5, verse 6. Now join me, please, in singing the third verse of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts. God's sovereign power without thy aid made us of clay and formed us then. And when like wandering sheep we strayed, God brought us to the fold again. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we've sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, in you I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Hallelujah. Psalm 31, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, in you I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bend your ear to me and deliver me speedily. Be my strong rock, a castle to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid for me. For you are my strength. Into your hands I commit my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. I've hated them that regard worthless idols, but I trust in you. I will be glad and rejoice in your love, for you have, considerable, you have considered my trouble. You've known my soul in distress. You have not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a large open place. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah in you I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Hallelujah. A reading from the letter of James, chapter 4, beginning at verse 13. Come now, you who say today or tomorrow, we will go to such and such a town and spend a year there, doing business and making money. Yet you do not even know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord wishes, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogance, all such boasting is evil. Anyone then who knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, commits sin. Come now, you rich people, weep and wail for the miseries that are coming to you. Your riches have rotted, and your clothes are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver have rusted, and their rust will be evidence against you, and it will eat your flesh like fire. You've laid up treasure for the last days. Listen, the wages of the laborers who mowed your fields, which you kept back by fraud, cry out, and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. 
You have lived on the earth in luxury and in pleasure. You have fattened your hearts in a day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the righteous one who does not resist you. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Lead us and guide us, O God, and take us out of the net that the wicked have set for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.